So I'm going to move on to another film. I'm going to move on to Certain Women. Now, I can't review this. <laughs> I'll, tell you this I'll tell you this why. Um, uh, I was told I had to see this last night uh, by yeah. Liam. It was a long day. I woke up at 7. I came back home at 10. And... Um, I fell asleep after 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> really, really sad. Certain women. <laughs> I'm really annoyed at myself. It started off slow for me and I was in bed and I was like, oh, I'll just rest my eyes for like about two minutes. I woke up and I was like, <laughs> it was quarter to ten in the morning. I was like, damn it. It's a slow film. It's a, yeah, yeah. Very, but very yeah, um, if anyone would like to re- re- rehash the rehash the plot because sure. I cannot remember. Um, Right. Uh, how do you say is it Rykar? Kelly Rykar. Kelly Rykar, yeah. Right, Kelly Rykar. I've only seen one of her films before, which is Mix Cut Off, which is a very good film. Uh, but to kind of to explain certain women, it's basically uh, three vignettes, basically of, of three different women who kind of cross paths in strange ways. Uh, first is Laura Dern, who's a lawyer who's dealing with a divorce case. Uh, then there's Michelle Williams, who's uh, it's hard to describe Michelle Williams. Basically, just like a little. I don't know, family drama with her daughter who doesn't really like her and there's, there's some other things where they're trying to get these uh, I think they're trying to build a house but trying to build a house and the, there's this little interaction with an older man who has the uh, the bricks that they need and then the finally is, uh, is it Lily, Lily Gladstone yeah. who uh, who's like a lonely rancher who has one chance interaction with Kristen Stewart's teacher and that just kind of developed from there but yeah it's a very it's a very slow film it's a very subtle film uh, not a lot really happened. I mean, pretty much the most action-packed, if you can even call it that, happens in Laura Dern's chapter mm. with, uh, I always forget this actor's name, it's uh, Jared, Harris. Jared Harris, yeah, with Jared Harris's character. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of, cause for films like this, like you say, there's, like I said, there's, there's not a lot of action. So to describe what happens, you have to describe really basically all the subtleties in the acting and then all the subtleties in the camera work. Um, and our theme wise I suppose loneliness is a big theme with all the characters all, all the women uh, all the problems with men in the life really besides Lily Gladstone who doesn't really have interaction with the men but she's doing a very manly job uh, that's all I can really say to be honest I can't did you enjoy it though? I really really enjoyed it and I really want to watch it again oh yeah. well lucky for you because I fell asleep after that mm-hmm. Laura Dern's just amazing <laughs> isn't she like she's um, she's one of the best bits of it I think yeah. uh, it, it's, it's, it's just too common I think to say that Laura Dern is brilliant but I've never seen her not be brilliant I mean even in the founder a few weeks ago it's a smaller part but yeah. she brings so much life to those parts she, well, she just injects well, ever since Jurassic so Park she's been one of my favourites I mean Wild again she was yeah, that really great. like you know she was was she nominated for that I think she was I think she probably yeah. was nominated for uh, Best Supporting Actress I think Soul's probably the right word isn't it Joe like just so much yeah it's the small the stuff. little details in the stories that make them I mean like the think about a film like Patterson where nothing happens and I I, I sort of like the, the both films for the same reason because it's, yeah. it's it is the quiet subtleties I mean Joe's said it all there's, there's nothing more for me to say really. well I think I think I think and stuff does happen that, that's sort of like an alternative fact quote more, more stuff that, happens, isn't it? it's like more stuff happens in this than Patterson yeah because um, that is essentially about nothing yeah. but th- these three stories and uh, the, the way they are connected as well is clever I think I, I, I only realised after the film the way the connections made sense mm-hmm. I didn't pick up straight away because <clears throat> at the start is <clears throat> and all that I'm not going to say what it is in case people want to say it uh, the, the connections are nice it doesn't feel like three separate films as it might as you're watching it but then you realise and it clicks in you think that was clever the yeah. Kelly Reichardt cinematic universe yeah great um, <laughs> interesting that sounded really sarcastic. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. No, I genuinely enjoyed it. Yeah. We can move on. Do you want to watch the rest of it now, Steph? Um. I'd, I'd be where. I mean, if you were bored in the first thirty minutes, uh, Lily, I wasn't Lily, bored. I was tired. Just tired. Tired. Yeah, I, I think. I think. I think it's like a glacial pace. It's a very. It's, yeah. I mean, like, it, get, it does get more glacial. As yeah. Lily, Lily Gladstone's. Uh, chapter is, is incredibly so but it, you know there's a lot of monotony with her chapter but it's kind of done for the story and Kristen Stewart gets a lot of flack these days for, for her quietness and shyness but she's really 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 great in, in, in pretty much everything she does like the whole Twilight thing just forget about but her. she shook that off completely she's now totally hasn't she shook that well, off. I mean it's good that her and Robert are you know, trying different things I mean mm-hmm. Childhood of a Leader and I haven't seen Robert Patterson so long yeah. well, no, Ch- Childhood of a Leader was the last thing I saw was he yeah. not in that one with um, Dane DeHaan 
He was, yeah, Life. Dean DeHaan? That was the story about James. Life? Dean. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, no, I didn't see that. No, I didn't see that one either. I, I, I wanted to. It looked, it looked okay. Yeah, I'm it looked just really quite good, happy so. that he's still with FKA Twigs. I'm quite content with that. There's a, there's a M. Cronenberg film that he's in, I want to say, called Cod- Cosmopolis. Oh. He's, in, he's in Maps of the Stars as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's, good guys. That's great. But, yeah, as for certain <laughs> women, I don't think I'll watch it, to be honest. I just, I don't know. It just didn't seem... Not your cup of tea? Nah. nah. That's all right. Yeah, it's very, very...